In August of last year, we set out on phase one of construction here at Joy Church. The goal of phase one was to remove the trees, to blast and crush the gravel, lay out the parking lot, and install all of our utilities. And I'm excited to announce that we are 90% complete with this phase. Water and power are in the ground, and now we're just awaiting county approval to complete our fire and our septic lines. Once we get county approval, Shamrock will finish installing these remaining lines and will make our parking lot ready for paving. We have seen the Lord's miraculous provision and outpouring of generosity here at Joy Church. We are right at phase one finish line and plan to celebrate and share stories of God's goodness at our Oktoberfest barbecue. There are so many stories to tell of His faithfulness through this process. Through the generosity of Joy Church and our Make Room campaign in 2023, along with the funds that we've set aside from our general income, we've been able to complete phase one debt free. Phase two, the building of our new sanctuary. We are at 80% complete with construction documents and we're in the final design phase working with mechanical, electrical, and plumbing on the new sanctuary building. Once completed, we'll be able to submit for permits beginning in 2025. Our goal is to have everything ready to go in the spring of 25. And as we endeavor to have all the building logistics and plans completed by the spring, we are determined to wait beginning the actual building process until we have hit our courageous campaign funding goals. We're coming to the completion of phase one and we'll continue to prepare and save for phase two, the construction of a new sanctuary building. We are determined to stay within our means throughout the project. And as we work together to hit our financial goals and begin phase two, we're asking the question, what can we do in between? We wanna to continue to make progress while simultaneously allowing time to make the financial and planning progress needed to move forward in wisdom. We went back to the drawing board and we were able to detail a list of items that we had planned for phase two. Things like sidewalks and paving, fencing, landscaping, and a garage in the front of the property for all our storage. Even a block wall that separates the upper and the lower parking lots. All of these things can be implemented now and will help lessen some of the phase two costs. Additionally, this will restore our property to a more functional state during the construction process. We have been working with contractors, the bank, and the county to detail a plan that will keep us moving forward on this project. So what's next? Please pray for the completion of phase one as we are awaiting approval from the county on a few remaining items. What has been accomplished in phase one sets Joy Church up for the next 25 years. I recognize that as we drive onto the property, we see dirt and gravel piles, but let us not forget that the amount of work that's been done underground sets us up to build a brand new sanctuary and a future kids church building, enabling ministry for years to come. I wanna say thank you to everyone who has given generously to the building campaign as we endeavor to make room for those yet to come.